Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Look, things are heating up and thought I would share some information regarding that topic, the topic of heat, and uh, share that with you. I saw this article on a VA News Feed uh, that I get, and uh, the, the headline here is Trends in Heat-Related Illness Among Veterans. So the trends within the veteran community, right, and uh, as they relate to uh, heat-related conditions. So if I remember right, I remember hearing uh, when I was in the military uh, that if you had a heat condition like heat stroke or heat exhaustion, you were more prone to having uh, those types of issues again in the future. So let's see what this article says and, and what we can do and what, uh, what we can uh, uh, gain from this. All right, so this uh, came out September 2nd, 2023, so not that long ago. Uh, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. So heat-related illnesses, HRI, such as heat stroke, exhaustion, and fainting are serious concerns for the general public and veterans. Recent high temperatures have increased awareness around these illnesses. Untreated HRIs can lead to the need for critical care at medical facilities and even heat-related deaths can occur. To address this issue and support veterans, VA's National Center for Collaboration Healthcare Initiative, or Innovation, uh, rather, and Center for Disease Control's National Center for Climate Health, recently published an article assessing 18 years of heat-related illnesses among veterans. Examining Climate Health Impacts on Veterans the first of its kind assessment in VA shows a significant and clinically important increase in the number of veterans with heat related illnesses. This comes at the same time as temperatures across the country have risen. Our goal is to provide the best care for our veterans and understanding health risks is, is critical to our, to our mission, said Dr. Thomas Osborne, director at uh, Palo Alto VA. Our VA team has an incredible analytic staff which combined with expertise from partners at CDC have empowered us to uncover important insights. In addition to the concerning increase in heat-related illnesses over time, the assessment also discovered that a specific group have been dis uh, disproportionately impacted. Understanding these demographic and geographic trends is, is intended to help us enhance care for our unique veteran population and direct data informed response or, or responses to those at risk. The assessment analyzed data for veterans treated at VA facilities from January 2002 through December 2019. It examined trends in HRI over time trends in geographic locations, and impacts for different patient populations. There were 33,114 reported cases of HRI that impacted 28,039 veterans. So it looks like there was a couple uh, frequent flyers in there, about 5,000 or so. Um, so if it's unique veterans at 28,000 and the total reported was 33, then the difference is probably the same person or people going in. There was an increase in HRI among veterans for nearly all states during the assessment period with a higher than average increase in HRIs in California, Florida, and Texas. There were also notable increases in HRI diagnosis in other states such as Missouri, Arkansas, Virginia, Ohio, and New York. HRIs were found to have disproportionately impacted veterans with complex health conditions such as congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease, COPD. Veterans with uh, diabetes and hypertension were also disproportionately affected, along with black and uh, American Indian and Alaskan Native American uh, veterans. You can learn more about the assessment and what it means uh, for you by reading the article and they have a little hyperlink. You can also learn more about the uh, NCCHI on their website with another hyperlink. What to uh, learn about, uh, want to learn about VA innovation at VA, visit their website. 
Um, and then you can also uh, just Google search this stuff and it'll probably show up. But I will copy and paste this information into the description uh, below for you as well. So I'm going to sound like drink water, change your socks, stay in the shade. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.